Hey, our friends, here we're gonna be drawing grapes. Yeah, we're gonna draw overlapping grapes, which makes it look super 3D. Yeah. For this lesson, we're gonna use a pencil first and also a marker. You need some paper and, and something to color with. Yeah. All right, let's start. Yes. <laughs> we're first gonna draw a circle in the middle of our paper, and I'm gonna draw it about this big. And now, when you use a pencil, you wanna press lightly, but I'm gonna press hard so that our Art friends can see. That's and a big circle. That's okay. You you're using a pencil, <laughs> so if you want, you can make it a little smaller, and then you could also erase the bigger circle. There you go. That's a good size. Then we're gonna draw another circle right next to it. I'm gonna draw it over here, and we're drawing them overlapping, so they are on top That's of each other. Big circle. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you could draw it a little smaller, and then you could also go ahead and take some time to erase the bigger lines. Then let's draw another circle next to the first one, but on the other side. Yeah, and try to make each of the circles about the same size. There you go. Now let's draw two more. I'm gonna draw them down here. Well, I'm gonna make that one a little bigger. And then I'm gonna draw another one right next to it. And you don't have to go over it as much as I, I, I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it darker. And then let's add one more down here. All right, uh, we could add even more grapes, but let's just keep it like this. Keep it nice and simple. Yeah. Now we're gonna switch to our marker and we're gonna trace over the first circle that we drew. Well, right here, I'm gonna draw all the way around over the pencil. Yeah, good job. Then let's draw the next one on the left, but this time we're only gonna draw part of the circle. So we're gonna trace around but the part that's going over that first grape, we're gonna leave off. Now we can use our pencil and come in here and actually let's erase all of the pencil lines inside of that first grape that we drew. Let's also erase the lines inside of the second grape. Now let's trace over this third grape down here and we're only going to trace over the pencil that's showing. And then let's also switch back to our eraser and then erase all of the lines, the guidelines inside of that grape. Which grape should we do next? The top one. The top one? Okay. We'll trace around the pencil lines again. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger too. And then we can switch to the eraser. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's a little easier if we switch back and forth and then we don't get confused on which lines to erase. Yeah. So we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines that are inside of that grape. Now, when any time that we fast forward the video, remember you guys at home can pause the video, take extra time also. We have this cool sweeper too. Yeah. You can sweep the shavings, the eraser shavings onto the floor. I onto think your body. <laughs> or onto your body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you also use this as a musical instrument in the blooper video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our next grape we're gonna draw this one. And I love how even though we haven't colored our grapes or even shaded them, it still looks 3D. Yeah. You can tell that some of the grapes are in front and some of the grapes are behind. Now let's switch to our eraser and we can erase that last guideline inside of that grape. And then we have our last grape that we're gonna trace around to complete all of our grapes. It looks awesome. Good job, Jack. Thank you. Now we're gonna draw the stem coming out of the top. I'm gonna draw a little curve, comes out of the first grape. And then we can draw another curve right next to it. But towards the top, I'm gonna to get wider or further apart. And then we can connect those two lines together. Let's also draw two lines connecting to this grape on the side and also two lines connecting to the grape on the right side. We should also add a leaf. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna draw another curve coming out to the right. And then up here at the top, let's draw, it looks like an arrow, draw an upside down V. And then we're gonna draw a zigzag line to complete the top of the leaf all the way down to the bottom. And then we can do the same thing on the right side, zigzag line down. Let's also add little lines, two little lines on the top and also on the bottom. 
All right, our grapes look really cool, and we can leave them just like this, but I think we're missing something. Which, what else should we add? A funny face. <laughs> Yeah, I think you need some practice on that. <laughs> All right, let's add a funny face. We could add a bunch of funny faces. I'm gonna draw a little mouth right here. Well, a line across, and then I'm gonna draw a big U shape underneath. <laughs> then also we could add a tongue inside, some really small eyes. <laughs> Good job. I like your little grape. <laughs> okay, now we could also add, maybe this one down here is scared. Maybe he's gonna fall. So I'm gonna draw an oval and then uh, <laughs> two little eyes too. <laughs> now you guys at home could add any funny faces you want to your grapes. And this one, um, I don't know, maybe he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he's got a tooth also. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a, I need that one too. That one's going to be right here. He's going to be, <laughs> that's my favorite one. <laughs> now we can add even more funny faces. Do you want to add one for each grape? Should I do that? Sure. All right. <laughs> that one's a little scary. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> all right, we did it. We finished our funny faces for all our grapes. Now you guys can add any funny face you want. And you could also even add more grapes. You don't have to just add, how many do we have? Five? No, yeah, six. six. We got six. You could add eight or even fill your whole paper with grapes. Did you add a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we still need to do one more thing to our drawing. My favorite part. Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time. But at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, great job on coloring your grapes. It looks so much better all colored in. Yeah. Now we also use colored pencils to make our grapes look more 3D. We added a white highlight and also I added shading, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. You don't have to use markers or colored pencils. You could use whatever you have at home. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your grapes. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and also learning more about overlapping. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That yeah, was. We love you guys, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.